Expansion One, pages twenty-six and twenty-seven. Reading, decorating the body. Do you notice people on the street with brightly colored red or blue hair, or people on the beach with pictures or patterns painted on their bodies? You might think that these are the latest trends. Well, think again. People have used color decoration on their bodies for a long, long time. In fact, recently scientists have found the remains of a culture that dates back eighty thousand to one hundred thousand years in a cave on the southern part of South Africa. In this cave, called Blombo's Cave, they found some of the oldest tools of stone and bone. But more important, they found a lot of ochre. A red-colored iron ore. Scientists say that some pieces of the ochre look like crayons for drawing. Most scientists think that prehistoric people used the pieces of ochre to draw symbolic decorations on their bodies. Some scientists think that people painted their bodies to be attractive to members of the opposite sex. Scientists can also trace makeup back ten thousand years to ancient Egypt. The ancient Egyptians used to grind colored stones like green malachite into powders that they rubbed on their eyelids. Both men and women used this eye makeup to be more attractive. More than one thousand years ago, the ancient Celts in Britain dyed their hair with bright colors, most often red, but sometimes bright blue. Some of these ancient traditions continue into the twenty-first century. People in some cultures use them for special occasions. In the West African nation of Niger, a group of nomads have a kind of beauty contest that extends for one week every year. Males paint their faces with bright makeup and wear elaborate costumes. They draw bright lines down their noses and paint patterns of white dots on their cheeks. They are judged on looks and personality by women from neighboring groups. In other cultures, the use of body painting is a bit more serious, and it sometimes marks passages in an individual's life. In India and Pakistan, the use of henna, a plant that is able to dye any surface, is common for rituals before marriage. Brides' hands are painted with beautiful patterns in henna. The body painting marks the woman as special. In New Zealand, the indigenous people, the Maori. Have long used facial tattoos to show which community they belong to and their place in that community. Tattooing is adding permanent color to the skin by putting pigment under the skin or by cutting the skin to make scars. The traditional Maori facial tattoos had beautiful curving lines, and some Maoris who want to preserve their heritage still get tattoos today. So. Those latest fashions in bright body colors may not be so new after all; they are following traditions that actually date from the earliest humans.